So last night I decided to check the Xbox store to see if any new shooter games were announced or scheduled to be released soon. And boom, Insurgency Sandstorm is back on the Xbox store ladies and gentlemen. Barring another setback with this game, it is due to be released on September 28th, 2021 on the Xbox One and on the Series X. Just about three years since the original plans were made to take this game to console, here it is at last. It is worth mentioning that this time there is three different versions available to purchase on Xbox. The standard version which is 40, the deluxe which is 70, and of course the gold edition which looks downright awesome to me just from the cover aspect is 80. The last time this game was scheduled to come out, uh, which was last year in late August, I believe there was only two different versions available. So that is a noticeable change right out of the gate. This is one of the games that I have been waiting on for quite some time. I've been waiting since about 2018 for this to come to console. So I'm pretty pumped for this. When this drops, I will be streaming this game nonstop on Twitch, and I can't wait. It's also worth mentioning that Halo Infinite was just announced to be released less than two days ago from the time of recording this audio, and it's due to be released on December 7th. But that's only for the campaign, unfortunately. The multiplayer impossible VR mode won't come out with that game until several months later, and in case you've been living in a cave somewhere, Battlefield 2042 and Call of Duty Vanguard are due to come out on October 21st and November 4th. So, in other words, all of a sudden, we went from having no interesting games coming out to four major titled games to be released all within about two months of each other. The only major titles that I've been looking forward to that we still have no clue on when they are due to be released are Crossfire X and, of course, MW2's multiplayer. But unfortunately for MW2, that looks like a long wait and an overall long shot of a dream at this point, since Vanguard is the new Call of Duty game to come out this year. But I will keep you guys updated on Crossfire when it's due to drop. Anyways, before I forget, as far as Insurgency goes, the deluxe version basically just comes with the Season 1 pass and a few cosmetic items. If that stays the same, I would not even consider the deluxe version at all. The gold version is $10 more and comes with more cosmetics and the year one and year two pass. The standard version doesn't come with the pass, but it's half the price of the gold version. So that might be the best option to go with for most people. We will see if anything changes there in the coming weeks though. That's pretty much all the basic information I have at this point. I really just wanted to do this video to let more people know that it is possible the five-year stretch of bad shooter games coming out could quite possibly be over after all these get released. I hope at least one of these games are enjoyable to play for this year and for several years to come. So cheers to that. And if anything changes with the release dates, I will post something in the comments, on my Twitter, or on the community tab of my channel. I'll see you guys. Thanks for checking this out.